Logan Guloff, master chef, cookbook author, entrepreneur and owners of Logan's Underground Supper Club is cooking for us this morning, showing us recipes you could try at home. And it's Logan's senior year, and we want to congratulate him. As we know, this is a difficult time for all seniors, but a big thanks to Logan for the video. Take a look. Hi, everybody. Logan Jr. Chef here. I'm going to be showing you some awesome grilling tips. Now, because we're all quarantined for the coronavirus, this means that we have a lot of extra time with our families, and that means that we can spend even more time cooking. And, you know, being outside is just really nice right now. we got some beautiful weather, and that means let's fire up the barbecue grill. Now, I have one of my favorite grills right here. It's... Now, I have it already heated up so that we can get started right away. Now, I have what I'm going to be grilling right here. This is going to be our shawarma chicken. Now, this is just some frozen chicken thighs that I had in the pantry. And, um, you know, just a real nice, simple little rub on there. Nothing too fancy. Don't want to get too jiggy because, I mean, you're going to be eating this no matter what. Because, I mean, Papa John's is probably closed. <laughs> anyway, you know, just a nice, simple rub on there. That sounds delicious. And because, you know, all of our family is around, that means that we can cook for them and we can really make them happy. Now, while those are cooking, I'm going to get started on the next piece of the meal. Now, I have a little copper pan here. And this is a good grilling tip because when you're grilling, you don't have to treat it just as a grill. You can also use it as a little bit of an improv stove. So I have my copper pan on there. I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit. And what I have to go with our shawarma chicken is I have a little medley of some canned chickpeas or garbanzo beans, and then some tomato, and then a little bit of garlic. I'm going to add this to our pan. And then I'm also going to get a little bit of the oil right here. Now this is just a little bit of olive oil, but if you don't have it, don't worry about it. You know, just whatever oil you have will really work. I'm going to grab a little bit of salt, salt the chicken a little bit, salt the uh, little vegetable medley here, get it going, turn up the heat a bit. Now, let's see, and a little bit of pepper. You know, don't forget to season with this, because seasoning can really be the difference maker between a really good meal. And also, don't be afraid to season on the grill because, you know, while you're, when you season it while it's cooking, it's just going to be flavor packed. It's really delicious. Let's see. It's getting there. I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit more. Now, grilling is just really fun. And because um, I'm not being able to go into the studio, I can do this because there's not going to be a bunch of smoke alarms or anything going off. You can just really have a lot of fun with it and just really get a really delicious natural flavor to your food. Now, you may not have a gas grill, but charcoal is just as good. 